Hi, this is Todd from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be talking about everything that is known about the planet Crate and the Rebel Alliance's base there during the times of the Galactic Civil War. We almost always mix the EU and canon in our videos because we believe that there's no reason why most of it can't fit together. So with that said, this video is purely based on canon, although the reason why we're doing it is because of our personal headcanon. So anyway, let's do it. The planet Crate was a small uninhabited mineral planet located in the Outer Rim. It was covered with a thick crust of white-colored salt over the entire surface of the planet. Underneath the layer of salt, the entire planet consisted of red-colored minerals. The planet's primary terrain consisted of salt flats, mountains, and canyons. The only living beings that inhabited the planet were Volptices, who were a species of fox-like creatures with white crystalline fur that lived within the burrows and tunnels beneath the planet's surface. The outpost was equipped with V4XD ski speeders, which were low-altitude air speeders that used the stabilizer strouts to keep balance when moving across alien terrain. When on crate, the ski speeders would rip up the scorched salt surface into red plums of ash. Before they came into the possession of the Rebel Alliance, they were used as racing speeders and exploring vehicles. Around 3 BBY, the early Rebel movement, which was secretly led by Bail Organa, established a secret outpost on the northern continent of Crate. A massive metal door protected the outpost from exterior attack, and served as the only obvious entry point and exit way. In front of the base, there was a number of trenches and artillery emplacements designed to defend against Imperial attacks. The outpost had an old mine inside it, as well as a small tractor beam and strong shields designed to protect from orbital bombardment. Around that time, Princess Leia Organa was unaware of the rebellion that was slowly being formed to fight against the Empire, and after some snooping, she tracked her adoptive father, Bail Organa, to the rebel outpost on Crane. It was there that she found out that her parents were secretly organizing a movement against the tyrannical Empire. In Zero BBY, sometime before the Battle of Scarif, the rebel outpost was abandoned for unknown reasons. After the destruction of the first Death Star at the Battle of Yavin, the Rebel Alliance was in search of a new location to hold their base of operations since their headquarters on Yavin have been discovered by the Empire. Rebel hero Princess Leia of Alderaan has made the search her personal mission with the help of her friends Luke Skywalker and Han Solo. She suggests that they revisit Crate since there is a fully functional outpost there. They travel to Crate in the Millennium Falcon alongside Wedge Antilles and a few other Rebels. On Crate, they would meet up with an old friend of Bail Organa who would show them around. The Rebels then decided to start setting up defenses, so Luke and Wedge started to make trenches in front of the outpost. In the middle of their work, they would discover dead mummified bodies, which was the work of Crate's deadly salt storms. The Rebels would be betrayed by Bale's old friend, and the Empire's elite Scar Squadron stormtroopers would soon arrive. Wedge Han and some Rebel pilots would face off with them in the V4XD ski speeders across the salt flats of Crate, while Luke Skywalker would deal his old nemesis, Sergeant Creel, in which he eventually barely bested him and destroyed his green blade lightsaber. All of this culminated during one of Crate's deadly salt storms. In the end, the Rebels managed to defeat Scar Squadron, but were forced to flee the planet in the Millennium Falcon. Now to simply keep track of our personal headcanon, we do consider everything in this video as canon for ourselves because thankfully it's all based in the Galactic Civil War era, aka before Return of the Jedi. The reason for that is because we don't consider anything after Episode 6 as canon for ourselves because we believe it should be the happy ending of the Star Wars story, and also because we love the whole idea of the planet Crate. It is one of the only things that we liked from The Last Jedi, and we are very glad that it fits into our headcanon thanks to the Storms of Crate comic book and the Leia, Princess of Alderaan novel. Anyway guys, this is it on the video, and we hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new about the vast galaxy of Star Wars. If you want to watch more videos like this one, the link to the playlist of our other Star Wars stories and videos will be down below. And also, if you want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button for even more videos like this one. And remember guys, God is awesome, may the force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video. You rebel scum. This party's over.